clouded gray eyes, razor-sharp teeth, and leather skin stretched over bone and wiry muscle. They were the most vicious things on the planet since the outbreak. And Kale wanted a two-on-five fight? Silas officially hated him. Six years after an outbreak, which turned the majority of the planet into man-eating monsters, a choice few denizens of the walking city have their calm survival turned upside down, with first, the arrival of a girl who isn't afraid to step to their resident psychopath, and a boy who can turn back human by biting said resident psychopath. This is being put out into the world in a bid to retain the ISBN numbers for this book, as well as remind myself that I have grown as an author and can do vastly better. So here is my disclaimer. This was written in my late teens, early 20s, when I thought that all of these cringy tropes were cool. The characters in this tale are from the depths of my imagination and are not intended to be offensive to anyone of any race, color, or creed. Yes, I am fully aware there are plot holes. The romance was forced in there because it was a last minute addition that a friend insisted should be there and it has overall problematic themes though none were consciously meant to be there or focused on. I will not be attempting any accents as that would be problematic for a variety of reasons besides my inability to actually do decent accents at this current time. Having got that out of the way, if the blurb sounded at all interesting to you, please feel free to take a trip through the nonsense a much younger me came up with. Hopefully you may find at least some enjoyment from it.